Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am excited to say that we have crossed 200 subscribers. Thanks for your support. So today topics are requester types in Pega and how we can trace other requester types other than ours. So in my first video I have shown like Pega has given one of the tool called tracer. If you click this, you can see the tracer. Right? Suppose if there is a situation like you want to trace your peers, developers or peer user to check the issue we are having an option called remote tracing if you see here you can click on this remote tracer and you can select respect to uh, user so if you see here there are so many things called batch app and browser so what are these so before jumping into that i want to say that there are a certain types of requesters in pega okay so all those requester types belongs to this class data admin requester if you go to your application go app give this class see the instances these are all the valid requester types in pega async processor portal browser batch app okay now what is a requester suppose you are requesting for a pizza so you are a requester and if the agent is updating back like sorry this is not available so it is a request like something we are asking and something the system is responding back is nothing but a communication between application and server that we are defining as a requester so in pega we are having app requester batch requester browser requester portal requester suppose you are hosting one service and another application is trying to access uh, your application then that requester will be termed as app requester what is batch suppose you are creating some agents or uh, some queue processor or, or some advanced agents then the respect to request will become as batch requester means uh, like uh, this will be invoked within pega itself for processing some background jobs that's what is called as batch requester and this browser browser requester is nothing but we are logging into our uh, application right this is these are termed as browser request portals so portal uh, request is nothing but there are something option called as portlet applications where we uh, give some tick mark to a application and we uh, term it as portlet application i have said you what is requester of where we can find and what are the requester types in Pega? Coming to the main topic, from where we can trace. From tracer, we, we can select this remote tracer. And this. So all these requesters might be available in this node. What happens if there are many nodes in your application and you want to trace it? So as I have said, once you log in, you have Dev Studio. When you log in as a developer, then you switch to Admin Studio. And in Admin Studio, if you click on requesters you can see this right how many users are active and how many nodes are there these are agents how many jobs job schedulers are there how many queue processor so go here resources requesters if you click this page will be loaded okay now you click here you can see there are three types app batch browser for for our demo purpose this is a user we i logged in with our zmart uh, admin and this is the browser i have logged in with our pega prpc administrator you can see this okay now i want to trace what the respect to administrator is doing so see i can see the operator id here right just scroll right hand side and you can see three dots here click this there are many options if you want to see the clipboard if you want to see the requester details if you want to terminate that you feel like it is an invalid requester so there are n number of options here now i'm clicking on trace so now that operator is not doing anything now i'm going here just i'm clicking save means back end some process will be running right see some trace has been happened now i have paused this trace so this is remote tracing option that we have in pega go back here 
and if you, if you want to see clipboard you can click on this view clipboard and you can see clipboard of that particular user if you are not sure is the is that uh, respective users clipboard or not go to system pages px requester and if you scroll down see px user and where so we are able to view this user's clipboard from here this is about uh, view clipboard and remote tracing and these are the request types we have hope this video is very short and clear and you guys uh, please rewind once again and use all the options provided by pega thank you